So if you're looking for a DevOps engineer entry level position or just want to be able to just start with your DevOps career as your first job, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Syed and welcome to Claydesk, your number one e-learning channel for latest technology courses. And uh, yeah, that's what we do. We make full, full courses for all beginner level, intermediate and experts. Go check out claydesk.com or right here on YouTube. Take our free courses. So yeah, let's get on with the video. I'm going to be talking about the number one site where you can go and find a job for yourself if you are an entry level DevOps or you would like to get into DevOps or other fields as well like cloud architect or solutions architect. Whether you have the certification or not, uh, whether it's AWS certification, GCP or whatever types you have. So either way, I'm going to show you one of the best sites out there that you can go many of my students have actually used this to get their first job so hey let's dive right in this is the site that i'm talking about this is dice.com is fairly straightforward it's very very easy and all you have to do is just upload your resume and once you upload your resume of course you're going to create a resume go check out my videos on how to create an effective devops or entry level it resumes but once you have that, you just upload it and then you start applying. And I'm going to show you this also so you can, yeah, you can see how easy it is. All right. So once you go to Dice.com and they do, by the way, just so you know, they have this Dice Q2 tech job report and we can use that. I've downloaded the job report. I'm going to go through that too so you know exactly the statistics, the salary levels of what's going on. All right. So Dice.com is fairly straightforward. So just go and type DevOps engineer. Um, and then the location. So again, it gives you a list of AWS DevOps engineer, lead DevOps engineer, senior DevOps engineer, and so on. So if you would like to an entry level, you can always type entry level, but I'm just going to do DevOps engineer. And the location, of course, is of your choice. I had it as New York, or you can put any state. All right, so you get about 1,200 jobs just in New York. And you can, of course, filter out remote only or work from home available and so on. There are about 683 full-time DevOps engineer jobs, guys. And guess what? All sorts, whether it's senior, whether it's junior. Wow, I found a junior DevOps engineer. Let's check this out because if you're just diving into the field, if you're new, a little bit of experience, then let's check this out. So this junior DevOps engineer position pays about 60000 to 65000 per year, which is not bad because... Let me tell you something. Once one of my students actually went through this process, he got his foot in the door. So salary is not your first priority if you're jumping in, right? That's a pro tip. So what you want to be able to do is just jump into a job, land your first job, and gain about a year worth of experience. That's it. Trust me, that student is now making six figures. So he jumped from about, well, he got a job around 70s, right? So $70,000 a year he got, and then after one year, he's now making 120,000, right? So boom, it's easy. But the first thing first, you gotta get in. So junior DevOps engineer is about 60 to 65K, and it's very, very simple job description. Notice it just says one year of support experience, some experience with AWS administration, and then of course, AWS certifications are a major, major plus. Boom, there you go. So right here on YouTube, we have AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course, seven hour, you take that and check out our, our reviews and comments. Stu many, hundreds of students have actually passing by taking this course right here on YouTube for free, or you can go to claydesk.com to take other courses as well. Either way, that's it, that's all you need. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing, of course there's competition. So what do you do? Well, you hone your skills on your interviewing skills. So go check out my videos on DevOps interview questions and answers. All right, go through them. You know, I've, I think we have about three or four or five videos on those extensive videos on different types of questions they ask. I mean, when I interview, I ask the same question. So you will know firsthand exactly what a DevOps interview is all about. So what you need to do is of course, get yourself a certification right whether it's the aws certified cloud practitioner or solutions architect i mean if you have a solutions architect 
certification, which you could probably get them about three or four months. I mean, it's not bad. Go check out our videos. I mean, we have students who've actually obtained that and they're doing it. So why not you, right? So once you have that, work on some projects and then of course, apply at dice.com. Wonderful site and you'll get responses, guys. Work is of course eight to five and it's a permanent job. Location is uh, somewhere in New Jersey. Education is bachelor's. Now, this, by the way, even though they list as a requirement of a degree as being, you know, having a bachelor's, but once you talk to them, don't be afraid to apply, even if you do not have a degree. I've had students who've applied and they've negotiated the fact that they have these certifications because if you have a couple of certifications, this is comparable to having a bachelor's degree. This is pro tip number two, guys, all right? So don't fall, well, you see this bachelor's and you say, well, I don't have a bachelor's. How can I apply for the entry-level job? Go ahead, do it. Talk to them. And once you talk to them, let them know that you have a couple of certifications. And companies, by the way, have these policies. And I'm telling you firsthand because I work with enterprise companies. I mean, I, I, I hire too. So we look for skills. And that's important, right? So even if you do not have a bachelor's or you're pursuing your bachelor's degree, that's even better, right? So go ahead, apply for all these entry level positions so you can you know then go ahead and you know filter out based on your own location and again you can just create alerts you can save it's a wonderful site it's easy you can check it out so you can just click apply now and of course you got to register and sign in and then you can take a look at of see what's going on and then of course the descriptions right so it'll take you to the site you can easy apply now this easy apply is wonderful because once you have easy apply that means that dice would automatically do this for you is just click off a button you don't have to fill out any forms guys right that's super super cool isn't it right so if you have a couple of certifications under your belt you meet the criteria you know the devops questions and answer you are prepared right go ahead apply and if you have these certifications guess what if you apply to 10 or 20 jobs chances are high probability that you will be reached out they will call you guys i mean yeah, trust me. Go ahead, try it. All right, so this is for the junior DevOps engineer position, but of course you can take a look at other positions as well. Now, let's get on with the Q2 tech job report. This is again from DICE, and what they did was, this is, this is a nice report. I'm gonna go through it quickly. You can download it, of course, or let me know in comments. I'll place a link for you or you can go to our blog at blog.claydesk.com and check this out too. All right, so this is the job report. It talks about location, employers, occupations, and then skills. So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna read all this, of course. Here is the job openings since or up till June, 2021. You'll notice the trend is up on the rise, okay? So in Q2 of 2021 versus Q1 is about 16% you know, higher growth rate for all these jobs. And that's what companies are looking for. Now, locations, if you are, for example, in New York, there's about 21% change. That's up. So New York is hiring big time. Atlanta is next. Chicago, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., Austin, Texas, about 25%. And let's check out Miami. It's about 30% up. So you can go through all of this and then see quarter over quarter change from Q1 to Q2 of 2021. And that's that's pretty exciting, right? So you can kind of navigate and based on this report, you can go back to DICE and then of course do a filter. Yeah, why not, right? Do the filter of that particular state and then boom, you'll know exactly where it is. So the fastest growing tech cities by job posting is Las Vegas, 43%. Second is Sacramento, California. Then you have Huntsville, Alabama. And by the way, here's a, another pro tip. Most individuals, they get these high paying jobs, but since pretty much everything is remote, they tend to live in Huntsville, Alabama, or anywhere in the Midwest, or wherever is cheaper accommodation. I mean, I have students who've moved from, you know, New York or Sacramento, or, you know, the East Coast or West Coast to actually Midwest or low cost. I mean, they're paying rent anywhere from three to four hundred bucks, and yeah, they're making six figure salary. So, yeah, there's another pro tip for you guys. In any case, you can check it out Hartford, Connecticut. That's my area. 
that's what we're looking at 31 percent fastest tech cities by job posting volume so not bad right that that's the east coast new york boston connecticut right the upstates so again you can go through this list and of course there's volume and then we have the fastest growing tech states by job posting volume we have alabama beautiful that's pretty cool nevada right so you can go through this as well and of course for the last 18 months the new tech job postings in the top 15 cities now you can go through these charts guys take a look at where you are where you want to be do your little bit of research make sure you have an effective resume get a couple of certifications and boom start applying you will be responded to and we know austin silicon hills is an upgrowing area we know that charlotte north carolina or atlanta perfect so again you can go through this right and then employers we're looking at in terms of employer rank in q2 by job posting volume amazon amazon is hiring big time guys whether you are in washington dc virginia or whatever you are they are massively massively building up their infrastructure because aws is being used everywhere most enterprise companies are using aws like you know it so amazon is hiring then we have uber infosys raytheon lockheed martin boeing and so on all these companies and yes they are also looking for entry-level DevOps, not just experiences, guys, right? So don't be afraid. I've, I'm just kind of showing you all of this, right, as we go along. And then you have all this list of other companies that you can actually take a look at and then work with it, right? All right. So likewise, you can also take a look at all these um, areas and things where you know exactly where you want to be and how you want to get in. And that's exactly what it is, right? All right. So 78% of top Q2 2021 employers increased their hiring compared to Q1 2021. And we also know that there's this great thing going on where the great resignation, right? People actually leaving most of these organizations too. So this is a perfect time to actually jump in as your entry level. All right. So occupations, let's check that out. Boom. Number one is software developer. Not bad. Project manager. 19% network engineer, senior software developer, systems engineer, and so on. Now you'll notice you, you, you don't see a DevOps engineer. Well, I see DevOps at 27 here. It's up 16%. Okay. So if you're specifically getting into DevOps and you don't want to be a programmer or developer or coder, again, depending on your skill set, and you can get into DevOps engineer easily, guys. All right but here's a list of the top 50 occupations all right then you have of course the fastest growing tech occupations with job volume and so on so this is a report that you can take a look at the skills i want to talk about briefly here are project management but project management skills come need a little bit of experience because obviously you need to know your stuff first and then you start to manage these projects and that's why they're looking for these as a 15 percent change but if you look at security, that's about 21% change, which is probably um, right below the sales force. And then, of course, we have other, um, all this list of you can kind of go through. All right, guys. So let's go back to our dice. Check it out. Number one site. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know if you have any questions, if you need some specific area that you are looking to pursue, whether it's the cloud architect, whether it's, you know, solutions architect, whether it's the entry level DevOps or whatever it is, just let me know. I will be happy to, um, you know, kind of walk you through uh, or some of your questions that you have and I do that, which is what we do. So thanks for being here. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, go check out our full courses at clearest.com. So that's all I have. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys later.